Hey, it's Josh with Budget Mechanic. Today I'm working on a 2004 Toyota Highlander and it's got a misfire code for the rear middle cylinder, meaning it's the hardest to reach cylinder on this engine and I'm gonna have to go in there and replace the coil and the spark plug just to make sure that I take care of that misfire. Now, many mechanics will tell you in order to get to those rear cylinders, you need to remove the whole intake. And therefore, if you're gonna to go to all that trouble, replace all of your coils and plugs back there. But I'm gonna show you a way you can do it without removing the intake. Therefore, you can just do the one coil and plug in the middle, and that's gonna save yourself a ton of time and money. All right, let's get the engine cover off just so we can see what we're dealing with. These uh, three Allen Allen fitting bolts. And then there's just like a press fitting right under the Toyota logo. So the coil we're gonna be replacing is right down there underneath this whole intake. And if you took this car to a shop, they would wanna remove the whole intake and have easy access to all three coils on the back side. Fine, but that takes a lot of time and on older cars, you run the risk of breaking a lot of these hoses and plastic parts. Now, just to give you some reference, I took the cover off so you can see the cylinders on the front. So all it is is the coil has a, a wire with a clip that you pull off, has 10 millimeter bolt that you remove, and then the whole coil will lift off the spark plug like that. And then the spark plug can come out. So it's gonna be that identical process, but right underneath here, kind of by all by feel. So let's get started. The first step, I'm gonna open up this space here by removing this uh, bracket. So I'm just gonna pop this vacuum hose out of the little clip here, get my 12 millimeter. There we go. Okay, make sure I don't drop that. So now we have much better access underneath this intake, which is actually technically called the plenum or the upper intake. On this side, I'm going to just remove this, like it's an AC idle controller from the side of the plenum. So I'm gonna pull this little vacuum hose off right here, hopefully without breaking it. So now I'm gonna get these Phillips screws off. They seem pretty tight, so I'm gonna see if I can get an impact on this. So since I can't get my impact down to the bottom screw, I'm gonna use this Phillips wrench. Um, it is actually a number three, it's the bigger Phillips. So don't strip it out. All right, I'm just gonna get a little piece of wire. Wire that up to this crossbar. Now I can get in here pretty easily on the left. So let me point out the coil that we're gonna be working on. You can see it through this hole here and this bolt right there is the one you're going to be taking off for that middle coil. So I'm going to take the 10 millimeter wrench and I'm going to put it on that bolt. Not too hard and crack it loose. So I'm going to show you where that wire is for the middle coil it's right here we've already taken the bolt off so the coil is a little loose so it's almost impossible to get these plugs off with one hand where it's positioned so what I'm gonna do is with my right hand I'm gonna push the little tab up and then on the left I'm actually gonna take a screwdriver and work it off like that oh got it this tab that you have to push on top is actually pretty stiff. Make sure you're pressing that tab on top real hard. Now we're just gonna reach down and pull the coil off the plug. It's a little, little tight, but there's plenty of room actually to get this up and out. Okay, this is sort of the magic combination that I found that works is the spark plug socket, a short extension, and then the adapter to half inch drive and I throw that down there, and then I can reach it with my other extension. Uh, just to note, my spark plug socket is missing the little rubber grabber that holds onto the spark plug, so I'm gonna have to use a magnet, but uh, hopefully yours is intact and the spark plug will come right out with your socket. I'm 
Got it broken loose. Okay, now that I've got all my old parts out, I'm gonna check them against my new ones. So for my spark plug, I'm just making sure that it's the same thread diameter. Um, it's all good to go. I am gonna replace all the spark plugs because you never really wanna do one or two by themselves. Um, you'll get a irregular running engine. So it's good to just replace them all at once. And then my coil, bad coils rarely ever show exterior signs of damage, so it's hard to know. Well, I'm gonna replace that and my bolt holes in the same spot. My plug's got the same number of pins, same length. I'm good to go with the new one. I'm gonna just lower the new plug in nice and gently with my magnet, uh, cause I don't wanna just drop it down in there in case it bends the electrode. So I'm just gonna lower it down in there. Nice and easy. Give it a little shake. wire goes to the left. Make sure it clicks. Now I can tighten that 10 millimeter bolt that I just finger tightened before. Just lightly snug that to compress the rubber seal on the coil. Okay, now we just need to put these pieces back. So I'm gonna unwire this guy. Right here, you gotta push in to line up the holes. I'm gonna slip the vacuum hose back on. I'm gonna reattach this bracket. Make sure that your throttle cable is seated properly inside the, the track here. That is snug. Line back in its clip. This clip on the bottom side just lines up here. As you can see, it is possible to remove that coil and plug without removing the intake, which saves you a ton of time. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.